What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Coding with Robbie. I'm your host, Robbie, and in this video, we're checking out the Shopify CLI for themes. So in a previous video, I showed you guys the basics of theme development, and in that video, I used Shopify Theme Kit, which is another tool, and some of you guys left the comment and you said, hey, Robbie, how come you're not using the CLI? It's so much better. In this video, we are gonna use the CLI. I'm gonna show you guys the basics, and then at the end, I'll uh, tell you guys why I don't use it personally. So if that sounds good, stick around, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let's get into it. So first up, we gotta install the Shopify CLI, and uh, there's kind of a lot of requirements depending on what platform you're on. So on Mac OS, you can just do it with Homebrew, and it looks like it's gonna automatically install everything for you. If you're on Windows or Linux, you have to install all this stuff down here. So I already got all my requirements, and then once you got them, you come down here. Uh, if you're on Mac, you can just run these commands right here. If you're on Windows or Linux, you install it with NPM. So let's copy this command, and I'm gonna go to my terminal, and paste it in, and run it, and this is gonna go ahead and download it and set it up on our system. And it's pretty heavy duty, so this command's actually gonna take a little bit of time. All right, there we go. We just added 919 packages from 394 contributors in 41 seconds. So we should have the CLI installed now, so let's double check that by just typing uh, Shopify. And there we go, we can see it's installed and now we have all these commands available to us. So we're using the Shopify CLI for themes, so everything's kind of going to be namespace under theme. So we can go Shopify theme, and it's going to give us all the commands we can run. Let's go through some of the commands they give us. So at the bottom here we have the basics, we can pull down a theme, we can push a theme, or we can publish a theme. And then at the top here, we have theme check. This is a really cool command that's gonna basically look through all your theme files and it's gonna find little syntax errors and recommend changes. Uh, we got theme dev. This is what you run as you're developing your theme. This is gonna watch all your files for changes and just hot reload the page whenever there's a change. Or sometimes it does refresh the whole page. It depends what it has to do. Uh, the other one that's notable is theme init. This is gonna create a new theme on your store. And it's gonna do it based off of Dawn, which is the default Shopify theme. So I don't really like using Dawn as my base. I like to start from scratch. So what we're actually gonna do is I'm gonna sync the CLI with my existing theme. So here I have just my basic theme. It's kind of just a naked theme. It doesn't really do much. This is what we created in my previous Shopify videos. And uh, yeah, let's get started with this one. Let's go to terminal. And I'm just gonna CD to my desktop and then I'll make a folder for it called theme and then I'll CD into theme. And now we can run a theme pull. And uh, it's gotta be Shopify theme pull. And if it's your first time, it's gonna ask you to log in. It just pulls up the browser and you log in. I've already done that, so I can just select the theme I want. So I want the live theme. And it's gonna go ahead and download all the files for me. This should just take a minute. There we go, it says it was pulled successfully. So now let's run Shopify. Theme dev. So it looks like it has to do some syncing and now we're live. And I guess what's cool is you can access this on localhost. You don't have to go to the live store. So let's pull up this link right here. And I'm gonna enter my store password. And here we go. We're looking at the theme on localhost and now we can make changes and it should automatically refresh. So let me open this up in uh, VS code. And let's try making a change. Let's go to our header file. Pull up the website right here. So let's just add one, two, three to the end of the title right there. So let's go right here. I'll go one, two, three, save it. And I'll go back and there we go. We got it right there. Let's try it with CSS. Let's go to my style.css. Let's just add background blue to everything and see what happens. Here we go. The background should be blue on everything. So nothing happened, but it's refreshing the page. And there we go, it automatically updated. So that's pretty cool. So now that I made my changes, let's try to push it. Um, so let's see. So if I wanna share this with someone, I can send them this link. And they could uh, check out my theme, which has unpublished changes. And if I do just go to my normal store, it looks, let's see. So that's one thing that's really cool. It doesn't update the actual live store. It kind of, I guess it stores your changes locally or I don't know how it works. It kind of creates like an invisible theme in the background, I guess. 
So now let's say we want to push that to production. We should be able to go to terminal. And let's just stop this and let's go Shopify theme push. See if that does it. Now let's say we want to do the live theme. Are you sure you want to push to your live theme? I'm going to hit yes. And it says pushing theme files. And there we go. It says it's live. So let's go. And there we go. We see our changes now. So that's pretty nifty. Um, let's try that theme check command. I really like this one. So let's go Shopify theme check. And it's going to find a ton of errors. Check this out. We scroll up. Here's all the things it wants me to fix. So for instance, uh, let's see. Right here, undefined object master. So it looks like I forgot to put that in quotes. Uh, if we go down here, it says, hey, we don't like you using uh, script tags like that anymore. Use a script tag with defer. And yeah, it basically just complains about all kinds of stuff. So I guess my formatting is messed up in cart.liquid. Cart.liquid. I want to see if the auto formatter fixes stuff. So let's go bam. Add defer right here. That's still yelling at me. Let's just see if that fixed the JSON formatting that I was yelling about. So let's go back and uh, let's run the command once more. A ton of errors. Let's scroll up. And uh, yeah, it looks like that schema that was in cart.liquid is gone. So now it's just complaining about other stuff. So that's pretty cool for finding bugs in your code and uh, kind of doing stuff the way they want you to. All right, so now let's try creating a new theme with the CLI. So let's go back a folder. So we're back on the desktop and then let's just clear all that and we'll run Shopify theme in it. This is gonna go ahead and create a new theme based off of Dawn. Let's just call it luxury moment theme, I guess. It's gonna go ahead and clone it and then we can CD into that folder and run theme dev. Sorry, Shopify theme dev. And uh, this command might take a second the first time. It's going to sync the theme. So let's just wait. There we go. Syncing theme. It's uploading all the files. It looks like we're good. And uh, yeah, we can pull up our store right here. And now we should be able to make changes to this and it'll automatically refresh and everything. So let's pull it up in VS Code. So dot. And uh, let's just try changing that header. So we'll just add one, two, three after it. So let's go header.liquid. And let's find the header code. I think it's shop.name. Let's see. Right down here. Let's add one, two, three. Save it. Go back. And there we go. We get it. So it's working. Let's try that theme check command on here and see if it complains about anything. So let's go back. Where was I? Right here. Stop it. Let's go uh, theme check. I'm so used to theme kit, Shopify theme check. See if it finds anything. And it looks like we do have some bugs. So let's go up and uh, it's just suggestions. It looks like uh, it really has a lot. I'm surprised because I didn't even make any changes to it. But uh, let's just pretend that's good. Let's try to publish this theme. So if we go to our store uh, right here, we refresh. You can see that it didn't even upload the theme at all to our store yet, which is kind of cool. So let's try to push this to our store, and then we'll publish after. So let's uh, go back to Terminal. Let's go Shopify theme push. And this should upload it to our actual store. So let's see what happens here. Uh, select the theme you want to push. Uh, what? So I guess I have to override one of these existing themes. I'm not sure. Or I, maybe it's this development one down here. Do I have one called development? Let's see. Yeah, so I guess maybe that's the one I'm working on that doesn't exist yet. So let's choose that one. It says pushing theme files to development. Your theme was successfully pushed. Let's go back. And refresh. We get it. 
I don't know where it went, so let's just try to publish it and see if that works. Let's go Shopify theme publish. Yeah, now it doesn't even show that development one. So let's just try to override a header tutorial. Look the theme. Are you sure you want to make it? Uh... Yeah, let's go back. Let's try Shopify theme push again. And this time I'm going to choose an existing theme. Let's just do header tutorial. And now it should override all the files in that theme. So it looks like it's taking a little longer this time. All right, looks like it pushed everything. Let's preview that theme and see if it actually did it. So let's go to header tutorial. I'll go preview. We have our header with one, two, three. So that's cool. So now we should be able to publish that theme. So let's go Shopify theme publish. And let's publish header tutorial. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Theme is now live. Let's see if it worked. Go back here. We refresh. And there we go. It's the live theme. So, so another way we could have got this theme on the store is to package it, upload it, and then uh, sync it with that theme. So let's try that. Let's go Shopify theme package. Run that and it should create a zip file for us. So let's just wait a second. There we go. Theme packaged. So let's go get that zip. See, let me just go to my home folder, uh, desktop. Where is it? Right here. So let me just put this on the desktop and then let's try to upload that. So let's go back to our store right here and, uh, let's go add theme, upload from zip file, my desktop. I got it right here. Let's upload it. All right, so just added it. Let's go to preview and make sure it has our change. One, two, three, so that's now live. And now what we could have done is go Shopify theme push. And then this time we can create that new one that we just uploaded. And it's gonna push it to it. And we don't really have any changes, so it's not gonna make any noticeable difference. Yay, 100, there we go. And then we could go theme publish. And that way we didn't have to override another existing theme. And there we go. There's the basics of the Shopify CLI for themes. So why am I still using ThemeKit? Well, I like ThemeKit because it's lighter weight. It's easier to install. And uh, there's just a lot less going on with it overall. So with the CLI, I had to install Ruby. I had to install something called Ruby Dev or DevKit or something. Uh, I already had Node.js and then there's some other dependencies. And then when I finally did install the NPM package, it had 900 other dependencies. And there's just too much going on for me. I don't like all the extra background stuff. And for me, it doesn't really provide that much benefit. So the hot reloading is kind of cool. Theme checks kind of cool. But at the end of the day, I just like theme kit. So I'm going to continue to use that. Uh, if you're just getting into theme development today, I probably would recommend the CLI. I think theme check would be very helpful for you. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So use whatever you want. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, you can click the icon in the middle of the screen to subscribe. And there's a couple videos on the right for you to check out. Till next time. Bye.